Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Wrestling Rants and Reviews. I'm Big Mike, and this is another day in wrestling history. That's right. And then, if you guys noticed, there wasn't one yesterday. No, I didn't skip it on purpose. There just wasn't a day in wrestling history. And uh, I just didn't feel like making a video, so I'm glad I didn't uh, have nothing spectacular happen yesterday. Um, nothing at all to tell you about. There may have been a Raw or a SmackDown, but as you know, I don't do those. I always tend to do the pay-per-views and title changes, etc. And there wasn't none, so fuck. It was a good day to have off. But anyways, we're moving into it today. This day in wrestling history goes as follows. For August the 24th. We have an event on this day. And it was back to 2003, and it's the WWE SummerSlam. And it was held in Phoenix, Arizona. On Heath, Rey Mysterio defeats Shannon Moore to retain the WWE Cruiserweight title. Um, on the main show, we see La Resistance, Rene Dupree, and Sylvain Garnier defeat... The Dudley Boys to retain the World Tag Team titles. Shane McMahon defeats Eric Bischoff in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Eddie Guerrero defeats Chris Benoit, Rhino, and Tajiri in a Fatal 4-Way match to retain the WWE United States title. Kurt Angle defeats Brock Lesnar to retain the WWE title. Kane defeats Rob Van Dam in a whole Bards match. Triple H defeats Goldberg, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, and Kevin Nash. Shawn Michaels in an Elimination, excuse me, an elimination Chamber match to retain the World Heavyweight title. Uh, moving on for some title changes. 1960, we see the fabulous Kangaroos, Al Costello and Roy Heffernan be... Uh, they defeat Red and Lou Bastion to win the NWA Northeast Tag Team titles, the United States Tag Team titles. 1985, the Dream Team, Brutus Beefcake and Greg Valentine defeat the U.S. Express, Barry Windham and Mike Rotundo to win the WWF Tag Team titles. 1990, we see the Steiner brothers, Rick and Scott, defeat Midnight Express to win the NWA, NWA United States Tag Team titles. 1992, Miss Texas defeats Lauren Davenport to win the USWA Women's title. We all don't know who Miss Texas was. we got to remember Jacqueline Moore. That's right, Jacqueline Moore was Miss Texas. And in 1999, on SmackDown, the big boss man defeats El Snow to win the WWF Hardcore title. That's right. Um, birthdays for today in wrestling history. On this day, people are having birthdays, and they are former WWE wrestler and uh, current Hall of Famer. Uh, we got Rocky Johnson turning 67. One time WWE Cruiserweight Champion Show Funaki. That's right. SmackDown's number one announcer, Kung Fu Naki, is 43. And current WWE Chairman and CEO Vince McMahon is 66 years young today. That's right. And if you're having a birthday out there in YouTube land or the YWC, IWC, whatever it is, whatever it is, hopefully you have a great day and a great year to come. That's right. Hopefully you have a good day and a uh, whole many more to follow. That's right. And uh, that's it. That's all. Not a very big video today. Guess not a lot was going on. I kind of scampered right through it, though. Kind of want to get it done. So uh, I am Big Mike, and that's that.